This is part one of our e-audiobook video tutorial series. It is our pleasure to be able to provide Kingston Library patrons with access to e-audiobooks. To access the site, type library.belindadigital.com forward slash Kingston into your web browser. You don't need to put the three W's in front and that will take you to the actual site. You'll also be able to access the site from our library homepage and from our kingstonlibraries.net site. To begin downloading an e-audiobook, you must be a registered user. You'll only need to do this once and you will require your library borrower number and your four digit PIN to be able to complete this part of the process. If you don't have a PIN or have forgotten what it is, please give us a call or come into one of our branches to reset it for you. Click on the sign in sign here on the right hand side and you enter in your borrower number and your four digit PIN and select sign in. At this point here you'll be able to enter in your email address and an optional display name. You need to agree to the terms and conditions which you can access here through the hyperlink and our privacy policy. We do recommend that you have a look at those before clicking it and you have the option to subscribe to um, a variety of newsletters. You can always change this at a later date by looking at your My Account details. Select Submit. Once you've registered um, at this point you'll be shown uh, a bit of a um, page on what you need to do in terms of the steps. Please take your time to have a look at that and again we've got more information available at our branches and our website uh, if you want and always um, you can come and speak to us to give you some more information. Click on next and then that takes you to the home page uh, which is basically the collection of uh, materials that you've got available to you to download. For more information on how to browse and borrow and reserve e-audiobooks you'll need to go on to our part two of our e-audiobook video tutorial series.